Yeah. Another area of potential research application in the future is study of how these substances may impact uh, the so-called sociopathic personality. But there are so many people incarcerated who uh, we just kind of warehouse or we do uh, minimal uh, and often unproductive uh, efforts of rehabilitating. And uh, if you, my hypothesis would be if you can allow a uh, person with a vague, if non-existent, sense of ethics uh, to develop a trust-filled relationship and allow that person to experience some of these transcendental states of consciousness in the context of really solid therapy. Um, that you could significantly impact behavior. Um, part of it is uh, that the feelings of deprivation psychodynamically in early childhood uh, could be healed in some very good therapy uh, where you didn't feel loved, didn't feel heard, didn't feel respected as a child. Some of those experiences can be worked through and you can build a foundation of, of self-worth and self-respect. There's also the dimension of simply experiencing such incredibly beautiful uh, realms of consciousness. Uh, when that has happened, you can't view yourself as worthless anymore. You know, you have a new understanding of, of what what you are, that there is something sacred, there is something profoundly meaningful about you, uh, even if your arrival in this life was kind of rocky. Um, in the unit of consciousness, there is a sense of interconnectedness with all people and a sense of a love that permeates the whole scene. And that is a basis for ethics. Uh, not ethics taught to you, forced down your throat, but a form of ethics that comes out of your own experience. Uh, if if uh, my neighbor is really my brother, uh, I can't burglarize his home, you know? <laughs>